two more questions. Do you find it easy to understand the hierarchy of documents better or from the starting document mentioned? You know, again, this was attempting to answer a concern of the early documentation where there was nothing that drew it all together or drew all the documents together. So. And there was some discussion as to the level of detail that should be provided in some of these documents. Okay, there were other comments that were provided that weren't explicitly received as part of the, um, or there weren't explicit answers to any of the questions above, but again, they were part of the assessment, and some very meaningful feedback came out of that. And I think probably what I consider to be the game-changing comment is this one right here, and I'll read it. Is I've had, not had time to review the documents, nor have I considered answers to the questions. However, you may be interested to know that there are several people working on pieces of this very picture. So the pieces are you know, the work that was done here and a few other examples of work going on. And it says perhaps we should form a team for the purpose of coordinating this effort so we can guys real intervention. What this did is it, it evolved into a team that is now dedicated to developing these higher level processes within the organization. And this is, you know, this is an example of assessment, and this is the renewal. We're going back to the earlier phases of the 12 steps of purposeful action for the purpose of developing these high, higher level documents. So. Okay, conclusions and recommendations. Um, suggestions that were received for improvement, usability, refined to carrier, swim lane, and activity table formats. This is a suggestion that came in regards to um, trying to match our processes a little bit better than what Carrier has already. Um, you know, specifying inputs, outputs, processes, enumerating metrics for Kaizen, and in, including system integration testing and firmware products, because that has not been adequately covered yet. This work will be incorporated in the organization product development process. This work has temporarily been, what is it, delayed in favor of developing a higher level process because it is, that's key. You gotta know where the, what is it, the product design and all that's coming from before we can really accurately nail down the detailed level firmware development processes. Revise the project timeline to the, match these detailed organizational efforts and the integration between department processes. Again, those are things that are coming as part of the higher level process that is currently in the development. This is just an example of what swim lane documentation means. The thing that it offers over the previous version is that it gives areas of responsibility, so it makes it easier for people to read. Um, activity tables, again, same thing. It just makes it easy for people to know who exactly is being applied to. Earlier documents didn't really present that that well. Okay, conclusions and recommendations. Um, these are enhancements that are needed for the higher level processes. Identifying stakeholders, knowledgeable product owners, re refining project planning, um, involving domain experts, higher level design, documenting overall architecture processes, identifying measures of success for process steps, improving requirements document formulation processes, and enumerating expected inputs and outputs, add maintenance and support processes. This work is underway right now, and there's actually been some pretty significant progress on that. Okay, the engineering management course is utilized. Um, engineering management 551, legal, legal and ethical perspectives in management. Purposeful action, giving actions, business, eth business ethics, very important in this project. Um, technical project management, provide um, input in project planning, project selection, and project management that's being reflected in higher level processes. Technology and entrepreneurship and leadership, principles of purposeful action, levels of desire. Again, this project was centered around that. Quality management systems, customer satisfaction and employee involvement, continuous process improvement, supplier partnership, information technology and quality management systems. Um, engineering management 580 project, product development, product development process including generic development time, 
development capability, interdisciplinary actions, technology push, and platform products, and engineering management, 553 strategic management, the threat of substitutes, I covered that a little bit earlier, um, strategy, innovator, leader versus follower. Again, we are considered one of the technology leaders in our industry. Core competencies, that's covered in um, some of the quality documentation, the product, product liability. Okay, and the bibliography, um, just a list of the resources that I used. And, and questions? I think I kept that to right out 30 minutes. Yes? Brian, suppose suppose we're we're the board uh, of directors and you've come to present this as just as you have done. What what is it you really want us to know about the work that you've done? What what's the essence of it? What's the value of what you have done, and what do you recommend we do? The value of what we've done is, or what I've done is, well, I should say we because there have been several people working on it. Is it is providing a updated quality process? for a product development process. Um, and, you know, it basically, what is it, helps us maintain our ISO 9000 compliance. Uh, I guess that's really... Okay, and why is that important? What, what that difference does it make whether we do what you recommend or not? The difference is because we, we want to maintain our ISO compliance because we cater to a pretty high line level of customers and if we do lose that then we run the risk of our dealers not being able to compete effectively in the marketplace or bid on jobs that have that specification item because we are a you know we're a construction company that has to provide specifications and if the engineers specify that on jobs and we don't meet the requirements then we are not eligible to bid on those kind of projects threat to our survival yep okay Thank you. Right. Any other questions? Good job. <laughs>